This is such a more like active and engaged way to try to memorize systems. And I did this for almost everything in BioBioChem. Hunter back for some more MCAT podcast. Think like a pro series. Hey, hey, what do you know? Let's think like a pro today. And we are going to go into bio biochem, which I don't know. People are coming off of their lunch break. They got a little PB and J in their belly, feeling a little bit good. Um, where should someone start to think like a pro when it comes to bio biochem? In your instance right here, they should immediately start thinking about every mechanism that is digesting that peanut butter and jelly sandwich and how they're all connected to each other and what the enzymes are that are feeding from the pancreas into their duodenum and, mm. and all that other stuff. Um, yes. So. And what's, what's <laughs> causing the, uh, what is the bur burger, burger me? <laughs> what is the, yeah, the yep, name yep, for yep, the rumbles yep. in your tummy? <laughs> And then um, yeah. now that now that everyone's cortisol has shot through the roof after mm -hmm. we're reminding them what bio biochem is all about. Yep. Um, and for anybody who hasn't started yet, cortisol is your stress hormone. So that's that's <laughs> the joke. Ba -da -ba. Um, thank you. I'll be here for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> um, maybe sooner if you kick me out. Um, but that's that's honestly my sneaky way of segueing into what the first tip for like think like a pro as a bio bio or in, for the bio biochem section is it's expand your horizons think big picture here um i think the fatal trap that a lot of my students fall into is we we look at bio biochem and it's this very segmented siloed thing i'm learning the electron transport chain i am learning my enzymes i'm learning the renal system and yo the mcat's not going to test you like that <laughs> Like, it's not just going to say, hey, do you know what this thing does? Yeah. It's going to give you a passage that has this weird scenario about someone who ate something funky and now it's sitting in their belly doing doing the burbleys or whatever they're called. <laughs> and and how is that going to affect your, your kidneys? How is that going to affect yeah. your sweat content that comes out of your pores? Like things like that. So that's the first thing is, yes, you need to know all the details. But I usually recommend my students like, they flip the script because so many times we, we start with the details and then we have to go like, okay, cool. So now that I know every single step of this process, what is this in like, why, what's this do? And like, we have to try to connect it. Yeah. Zoom way out. Yeah. And, and this is a skill I will warn students that is not only good for the MCAT, but board exams do the same exact thing. Once you are in medical school, it's not, do you know this disease that we are giving you a, a case study around, but do you also know the treatment of that disease? Do you know the sequelae of that treatment? Do you know second line treatment if first line, first line treatment fails? That is how the, the board exams work as well. It's not like here's a passage, do you know one thing? It's here's a passage, I expect you to know three things first before I ask you about the fourth. Yeah, 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 100%. And that even gets to, I think what we were talking about last time, like the concepts over content. Again, you need the content. Don't don't leave this going like Hunter told me, I don't have to study. <laughs> um, you need the content, but the concepts behind it are so so important as well. Yeah. Um, how everything is connected, and especially in bio biochem, there's so much connectivity between all the different systems. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was kind of alluding to this earlier, but let's let's get into the meat and potatoes of like the, the pro study for bio biochem in a very specific way. Um, I mean, yes, there's practice. I mean, it's basically always going to be like practice review. You're, you know, learning, you're absorbing through passive diffusion. If you're, you're watching your, your content videos and stuff like that, or reading textbooks, however you're getting your content in. Um, but when it comes to actually like memorizing the whole systems, I always teach my students to do sheets, which, um, for the most part are met with like, what is that? So I'm going to spend like two seconds talking about it really fast. Um, Let's say we're doing a super basic example of the digestive system, right? Your whole digestive tract, humans are a donut. What's the tube that goes through us, right? Um, instead of, you know, doing flashcards or taking uh, excessive notes with bullet points and, and color-coded sections about, like, here's the stomach and all the stuff about the stomach, chief and cells and blah, 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 blah. You're just kind of, like, going through it. 
what I want my students to do is actually kind of cheat, like have a textbook open or have like a nice image open that shows every single part of the system mm -hmm. starting from the mouth. And like, you can kind of use your own discretion of like, what parts are you focusing on the whole thing or just a couple specific ones. But the, the concept is the same of how you execute the study sheet. Um, I'm going to do the whole, the whole digestive tract. So you start at the mouth and literally you draw whatever image you're looking at. You like recreate it step for step, image for image, right? So I I normally show an example and I draw it on my computer. It looks like a monster because I'm a terrible <laughs> artist. Um, even more so with a mouse, right? But, um, you know, you start there and you go, okay, cool. And then you draw like a little line to the mouth because that's where digestion starts. And then you put everything there is to know, or at least everything that you want to go as deep as about the mouth that you know about digestion, right? So there's physical digestion, it's mastication, that's chewing, there's chemical digestion, we've got amylase in there, it breaks down carbs into some simple sugars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what saliva does and all these other things, um, taste buds, if you want to get into taste buds and memorize all of that. Um, and then you go into you know, your sphincter, your, your throat, and you swallow things and it goes down and then it, there's another sphincter before you get to your stomach. And what does that one do? Now we're in the stomach. And what's the pH there? And, and, <laughs> and what cells produce the stomach acid and all this other stuff? So you literally all this detail and all this information. And you're like just copying it on this blank sheet of paper. And then that is your master copy. So yeah. you, you make it perfect and then you save it. And then like three, four days later, you try to recreate your master copy from scratch. And you just like try to redo it, fill in all the same information without looking at it. And then hmm. you compare them. And everything that you don't have on your new one, it's you're like gonna, I don't know. Game. I was basically, yeah. <laughs> I was I was told the red ink thing like helps you remember when I was like eight, and I never fact checked it. So I would write it in like red pen all the things that I forgot to include. Yeah, that way, it, like you know, stood out to me. I was like, oh, I got to remember X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I wonder. Like, I, I wonder if you could use like Microsoft Word has a built in. If like if you did it in Word, I, I know probably not the best way, but if you did it in Word, you could do that. There's a compare documents feature, and it'll be like, here are all the ones Ooh. you missed. I'd like that. Yeah. Um, it's also <laughs> if the nerd. more frustrated you get, there's just you're typing out your expletives. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and then you compare them and see what you missed. You fill in the gaps, and then this is the heartbreaking part for most of my students. You take the one that you just did and you tear it up and you throw it away, you're done with it. Like that is the exercise, is the the active engaging like your your brain and engaging what you know about it and trying to pull it out yeah. as opposed to just like rereading your notes or doing flashcards, all that really passive stuff. This is such a more like active and engaged way to try to memorize systems. And I did this for almost everything in bio biochem. Yeah. Big like organ systems like digestive tract, small little tiny systems like, you know, the pancreas and like what happens there. Um, my endocrine system, my renal, like ev everything that I did, even like mitosis, meiosis, cell biology, you know, all that stuff. You can just make these study sheets and like the more active you are with your, with your recall and your studying, the more you're going to remember it long-term as opposed to just passively, like trying to memorize something. This yeah. is it's passive versus active. It's, it's, that's the key behind bio biochem. It, it sounds like what you're, what you're saying is basically what we've recommended for a long time is, is teaching is a much better way to solidify knowledge and to test your own abilities. Um, and, and you're basically teaching to yourself by writing it all down. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, uh, if, if you do, you know, if you are a privy to, um, non-science friends or non-science family members or whatever, and if you can actually teach them and encourage them to ask questions, because like, if they're not at all related to the sciences, they're going to have a bunch of questions like, wait, what the heck is that dangling <laughs> Why? thing? Why, Why is this thing? Why? 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 Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> you have to answer those whys because yeah. that is now you're role playing and that's the MCAT, right? So they're going to be like, why, why is this happening? Why is this? Oh no. Now we have a deficiency that causes us to not synthesize like anterior kinase. Why is that mess up your entire pancreas? Right? Like stuff like that. Um, why is that different than chem fizz? So it's different from chem fizz because this is, it, it is a lot of memorization. It is like, it's a little bit more memorization as far as like the bio biochem section where in my head, chem fizz is more problem solving and like, like actively working through things. So the, the danger here, like when you're actually executing it, it might not be that different between the sections, but it's the studying that comes from it. Cause a lot of students figure, okay, bio biochem has a lot more memorization and we just naturally default to that really passive form of I'm going to do flashcards to learn my ETC. I'm going to do flashcards or, you know, I'm just going to watch videos on the Krebs cycle and try to memorize it that way. When 
it, you should be prepping for bio biochem in a very similar way as like when you're practicing your, your physics equations, right? Mm -hmm. You like actively work it out and you, you simplify that circuit from nine resistors down to one, like, you know, like <laughs> you, you were, it just normally the intuition that we not intuition, the default setting that we have, that's a little bit more negative. The mm -hmm. default setting that we should fight back against is just trying to rote memorize our way through bio biochem. Cause a lot of times that's what our undergrad is. I had a tutoring student who had a master's in bio and straight up, it was her worst subject. It, you, you know who exactly who I'm talking about. If you're listening to this and I know you do, I'm so sorry. I'm not going <laughs> to use your name, but it was her worst subject. And like every single time she would be like, I swear to God, I'm one wrong question away from just returning my degree. Like, <laughs> so it's, it's not you, I promise. It's probably just the way that you're studying it. Mm -hmm. So teach, teach yourself, teach other people as much as possible. Yep. Um, memorize a little bit more, unfortunately, uh, know, know everything inside and out as much as possible. One step, two step, three steps down the line to, to try to understand what else connect everything going back to connecting this back to the beginning, connect everything, right? So you're going to, <laughs> as our good friend, Pee Wee Herman says, connect the dots. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> exactly. Um, Oh man, between the Pee Wee Herman reference and then I think on our last one we were talking about making our, our text bigger. Everyone's just mm -hmm. gonna assume that we're like the MCAT grandpas, man. Uh, <laughs> yes, and <laughs> we're getting there. Yes. <laughs> and. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, oh, where was I? Uh, we have way too much fun on this. Oh, connect everything. Yes. Connect everything. Connect the dots. Um, so you're going to do these study sheets, right? And that can teach you your circulatory system. You'll learn everything about all your capillaries, your veins, all that other good stuff. Your heart, cool, great. You're going to do study sheets on your respiratory system and you're going to learn about gas exchange and how all that stuff works in your lungs and pulmonary and all that good stuff. Um, you're going to learn about how muscles work, right? And how muscle action works and, you know, all this other stuff. And then you're going to learn about the uh, electron transport chain. Oh, well, starting at the top, the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, all that other stuff, energy generation. These aren't individual siloed things. Every single one of these are connected, right? So like, why do we breathe? To get oxygen and to get rid of CO2. Why do we need oxygen? Because it's the last, it's the final electron acceptor in the ETC. Why do we need that to work? Well, because our muscles need a whole bunch of energy when they're, when they're working out, right? And then how do we get that oxygen from uh, outside into here? That can even get into physics if you're getting crazy with it. We can talk about pressures, but we won't do that this time. Um, so all of these things are connected, right? Same thing when it comes to um, why do we have to eat certain foods, right? What do carbs do? What do they break down into? And now you can go from like bio into that biochem area where we're talking about complex molecules and what like certain sugars look like over other sugars and why are these ones better? And, you know, if you have these three molecules put together, it's a triglyceride. What does a triglyceride do? And when do we have to break those down? All these things, it's all connected. Like mm -hmm. I, I describe <laughs> much to the chagrin of my of my my partner Aaron. She she hates when I describe the human body as this really dope like squishy me mecha meat suit that like <laughs> you know it's just like our brains are the pilots and like we're just running roaming around in this squishy like meaty Gundam and like you just know all the parts and how they work and it's just this awesome machine that like everything kind of functions together. Until it doesn't. And Until usually doesn't. the passages are yeah. where, and they kind of expect you to know how everything should work. And if yeah. something's going wrong, what's downstream? So <laughs> in, that's that's my big to do for bio bio <laughs> meaty Gundam suits. Oh, it. God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> in in med school, our anatomy professor would say, this is the way it always happens, except when it doesn't. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This is the way it should go, except when it doesn't. And, and like going through med school, I realized like there's a lot of stuff that has to go right for us to be here as as typically normal as possible, right? It's just I it's am, incredible. I am amazed every second that the universe hasn't just wiped us all out. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, meaty Gundam suit, whatever you called it. <laughs> uh, uh, memorize some stuff. Um, well, all, all that good stuff. I think I think we'll we'll end with meaty Gundam suit. I think. <laughs> I mean, honestly, how do you top it? 